Well, good evening, everybody. Um, and I might look a bit like a TV evangelist tonight, but it's just because we had a um, we had a Zoom youth group and we had to dress up, and I thought I would get um, dressed up in a suit. Um, so it's not weird. I'm not being weird. Just being eight of eight thirty at night wearing a suit in the dark with a candle. Um, there, there is a a purpose behind it. Um, so yeah, if you've only joined us for the first time for night prayer, we are using the Anglican prayer book, um, and we are on page one hundred and sixty-seven um, for night prayer. So you can join us on that page, and then. I'm going to ask us to just cover our thoughts and take a couple of deep breaths before we start getting into this and ending of our day um, in the presence of God. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even when they sleep. Etefano, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good for your, our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us over this planet, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love O God, heal us. We stumbled in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All we are, have been and shall be is known to you. Through the very secret of our hearts and all all that rises to trouble us, living flame, burn into us cleansing wind blow through us fountain of water well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth eternal spirit flow 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 through your being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise let us worship the god of love hallelujah hallelujah So tonight we're going to read Psalm 31 on page 170. O God, I have come to you for shelter. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in the justice of your ways. Incline your ear to me and be swift to save me. Be for me a rock of refuge and a fortress to defend me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Lead me and guide me for your name's sake. Deliver me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commit my spirit. For you will redeem me, eternal God of truth. So for tonight, tonight's readings, um, I have invited Nora to do the readings for us. So Nora, if you can send me that invite... We have also been joined by um, Isme, who is who is not asleep yet, but will be <laughs> straight after even break. So Nora, I can if I can. Um, there's a little arrow at the bottom, I think, that requests. Ooh, I have no idea. Thank you, Nora. 
Um, tonight's reading is John 20 verses 19 to 30. That Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly, Jesus was standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Again, he said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with them, the others, when Jesus came. They told him, we have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nails wounds in my hands, put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand inside the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. Then Jesus told them, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Awesome. Nora, is there anything in that passage that you um, that stands out to you? Um, I think when the disciples were all together, um, because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and Jesus came in and says, peace be with you, it showed that even in times like this, where we can be feeling stressed and afraid that Jesus is still with us. Awesome. Man. That's so true. Thank you, Nora. Thank you for joining us and doing the reading. That's great. So before we head into some prayers, I have a song that I am going to play for us. And the song's name is Peace, um, which is so awesome. Um, fitting into that scripture, Jesus saying, peace be with you. And the song is um, by Bethel of their album called We the Kingdom. So if I could just sit back, close your eyes and just listen to the words as they are sung over you.
I love those words at the end. So when the whole world is crashing down, I fall onto my knees and breathe in your peace. So we're going to head into a time of prayer now. So into your hands, O oh God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O oh God, of truth and love. Keep me, O oh God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me underneath the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O oh God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Praise be to God. I have lived to see this day. God's promises are fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world and to the darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to, the, to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. So let's join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. I will lay down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, and the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. We are going to use prayer 6 on page 184. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to the new day, new joys and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the sentence for today is, O oh God, strengthen your servants with your heavenly grace, that we may continue yours forever, and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more until we come to your everlasting kingdom. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining us tonight in evening prayer, and I hope this has been a blessing to you and that you could end your day with peace um, and calmness. Thank you. Bye-bye.